Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we will learn how to order numbers up to 10,000. So let's have a look at the question we're going to be working through. Here it is. On the left hand side we've got four sets of numbers A, B, C, D. On the right hand side we've got the options. We have to write from the smallest number to the largest number. Okay, the numbers look fairly identical so how do we work through this? Well the first thing we have to notice is that each of the numbers has got four digits. If you look over here every single number has got four digits. Just move this up slightly. <clears throat> okay, so what we're going to do is first we're just going to label right at the top here. We've got units, tens, hundreds and thousands. What we're going to do is, as we always do when we are comparing or ordering numbers, we start with the number with the digit on the left hand side. So let's just change colors and what we're going to do is we're going to compare each of these numbers. Okay, I'm just going to draw so that is what we are comparing. If we look at number A, the thousands, it has three thousands here. B has also got three thousands, C has got three thousands, and D has got three thousands. Therefore, we cannot tell which numbers, which number is larger or smaller just by looking at the thousands. We have to now move across and look at the hundreds. I'm just going to draw a circle around there. Not a circle, I'm just going to circle these numbers, I should say. There we go. So that's the hundreds. A has got six, B has got three hundreds, C has got eight hundreds, and D has got four hundreds. Now what does that immediately tell you? That should tell you that because each digit is different, we don't need to look at the tens and units. Just by looking at the hundreds, we can determine which number is larger and which one is smaller. Okay, so let's do this. What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to rewrite the hundreds column over here just to make it easier for us to work through. A has got 6, B has got 3, C has got 8, and D has got 4. Now you don't need to do this extra column, it's just for us to work through. So this is the hundreds column. We've got 6, 3, 8, 4. Forget about all the other digits. Now, which is the smallest number here? 6, 3, 8, 4. Which is the smallest? Which is the smallest number? The smallest number is 3 and that is B. So we can write B over here. B is the smallest. So now we're left with three, dig three digits, 6, 8 and 4. Which is the smallest one now? Is it 6, 8 or 4? Which is the smallest? It is 4. Which number does that belong to? That belongs to D. So let's write down D. So now we've got 2 left. Is it 6 or 8? Which is smaller? Is it 6 or 8? That's right, it is 6. And that is A. And that simply leaves one final one. That is the 8. And that is C. And that is how we work out how to order numbers up to 10,000. It's the same as comparing, but you're just comparing now not necessarily two numbers. It could be three numbers, four numbers in our example, or even more, five or six numbers.